to keep the girls, you know. Yeah. yeah, but I hope that I won't send the kids back this time. Yeah. Um, they have to say a prayer. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Pray for them. Yeah. It's only a pity that their dad isn't here. I mean, Mark is away, you know. Oh, he can't yes. be here with us, but... Oh, yes. He's waiting for news is every day as well. No, we moved to... He moved to Eritrea. He's in Eritrea now for his new job. Oh, and I went there for a few weeks. Eritrea. It's in North East oh. Africa. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's very yeah. far away. But um, I went there to to see the country and uh, to look at the schools and everything for Ruva and Miriam and to see if it was okay for mm. the, the children mm. to be there. Mm. And then while I was there, I got some news that things might be moving for Ruva Dasha's case. So that's why I flew back. Oh, yes. And now I'm I'm living on top of my um, the people I gave rented the house to. Oh yes. I actually rang them up and I said, "Excuse me, I'm coming back with uh, Ashling." Oh. And I'm maybe going to get two girls out of the children's home as well, so. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I hope we can get on with things because at the moment everything is in limbo. We can't really make a decision about this house, about the staff, about about what can we really do with the girls' education? How will it be for Ashling? Um, so it's uh, it's it's very hard now not knowing, and it means that we can all be together because at the moment I'm separated from my husband because of the girls being here. 
Ashley separated from her father because of the girls being here. And uh, we really want to be a family, like a real family together. Hello! Hi. I came to find my children. One's asleep. Hello. Hey. Oh, look, you've got so big and beautiful. May I take her up? Do you think she'll be okay? Mama. Where's Mama? You keep an eye on Mama. Oh. What do you think of her over? Hey. Will we take her back and have another little sister? This is your song, right? <laughs> but you know, you were this size, Rova, when I saw you first time. Yeah. 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 Wait, no, how old is she? No, she was, you no. were smaller. No, she's she, bigger. She was smaller than this. Yeah. yeah. Four and a half. Four and a half months. Yeah. I had a very hard time getting pregnant. And I met uh, Ruva Rache actually after a series of miscarriages. Um, I became involved with the hospital because my family, optimistically, every time I got pregnant, I would get presents from them for my future child, my future baby. And so I had a whole collection of beautiful baby things here that um, I didn't think I would ever be able to use for my own baby. That's how I got to know Ruva. I was bringing clothes to the hospital and for new babies that would need them. And then the social welfare officer in the hospital introduced me to Ruva Rashi. And from that point onwards, I brought, of course, Janet to see baby and her daughter Finus. Finus was the first one to see. You'll meet Finus, he's great. And uh, they said, you have to bring her home, you know, why is she in here? You can, you need a baby, you want a baby. But at that stage I was, I, I had already decided, but I want, I was happy to hear them say. I'm a doggy. You're a doggy, are you? You're a very cheeky doggy. with Sybil and Norman sometime. She can and come. then Precious and, and Priska. And ah, Priska is good. And, and, and we can bring Precious, Anna and Mosey. She's a good boy. Mosey has a good boy. And they want to let him. I like all the children. And only, Nancy, only Nancy, Nancy, Nancy was biting me. Nancy. No, the, it's shy. Wait, I want to say something to me, me, Uva, I want to say something to you about, about Nancy biting you. I like Nancy, but I don't like biting. But it's bite Miriam. That's naughty. It's naughty to bite Miriam. It's, it's but bite Nancy me. is a good girl other times, but sometimes she does naughty things. Sometimes you do naughty 
things like you play with the table mat, which should be here. But I still love you. Mm -hmm. You mustn't play with the things on the table. They're for the table, right? But you're still good girls, aren't you? Why did the process take so long? Well, it took long because of all sorts of reasons, mainly to do with procedural issues and delays from people who didn't really know what the procedures were, gave us information one day, then different information the next. But um, ultimately it was due to politics. It was, a, it was really the, not a, it was an, one in particular individual's political prejudice that blocked us and um, we have appealed but the appeal was denied. Um, it was suggested that the process might have been speeded up had we paid something somewhere along the line. We never did, we never wanted to. Um, there were suggestions by uh, friends, even uh, family, you know, uh, why not pay, you know, rather than have the girls in an institution. But we know that if we were to do that, the next child, uh, these girls are coming to a really happy home, but um, somebody else might sell a child next to, to a dangerous situation. So when Miriam comes with Miriam, wait. Ah, 
Okay, so you love it, you love it, and you want yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. It's but okay. you don't need two. Will we give this one to Ruva now? Is that okay? So Ruva, you take this one, and maybe we take that. Okay. What is great, Angie? This one is for Ruva. But that one is too small, darling. Look, it's a very small little little baby baby dress. That's a little baby dress. Oh, I remember. Do you remember when we got you these? You were so small and they were so big. They were so big. So then we keep them. Yeah, they keep going. I got you those years ago. The trousers were coming up over your head. Okay. Right, let's go. We've got lots of clothes. There were two issues of money quite apart from paying a bribe. You know, there is another one uh, about um, paying legal fees for the appeal in, through the courts. We were going to, we appealed in person to the minister and then we appealed again in writing and uh, we appealed several times in person to the officers involved and so on. They were all rejected. And so we were recommended to go to court. The minimum cost just to start the process, we were informed at the time, would be 75,000 US dollars. That was to start the process. That we felt it was actually immoral to put that money into a court case when there were 76 children in the home that desperately needed money. a little girl maybe Mimi's age my aunt it was Christmas time and my aunt was drawing angels and I was drawing angels and other little my cousins were drawing angels and, um, there was another visitor and she remarked that my aunt's angels were black and we never noticed it was part and parcel of our family because my aunt is from Jamaica and we saw the difference in the angel but they were all angels and they were all part of the family, just like the kids are all kids. Night, night, sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite, if they bite. What will you do? Keep them tight. And they won't bite tomorrow night. Stay with me. You know that you said you wanted to stay with me? And do you know what he said? He said, I can be your mama and Mark can be your papa. And you can stay with me. You can stay with me. How about that? Is that good news? Is that good news for me? I'm glad I got And you're both my, my just 
my bright girls, Ashley. No, you're crying. I'm crying because I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> go, go. Go, go. Go, go. We're going to keep the girls. We're going to keep the girls. <laughs> I just got the news from the room. Hey, you've got two sisters! Two new sisters! Yeah. Oh, very good. I have to tell Mark. Mark doesn't know yet. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, this is too exciting. I can't think. Wait, I should know his telephone number if I can just remember. Oh, thank God. Mark, darling. Darling, um, I want you. I want you to say uh, hello to your new daughter, to Miriam. <laughs> we got the news, darling. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Now you can say hello, Papa. That's your Papa now. That's your Papa too. Let me get my Papa. Oh. Did it stop? Wait, he'll ring back. It's your papa? By myself. Uh oh. No, it's Miriam's. Your papa and Miriam's papa. Say hello. Hello. I'm fine. It's not you. It's not Miriam. My name is Duba. <laughs> yes. Yes. So how does it feel to be the father of three girls? got a phone call from Kodoma yesterday to say that all the papers are ready for Miriam and that the court order has been signed. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Congratulations to you too because you helped. So congratulations to both of us, to all of us. Hey? And, and what I wanted to do today was... I. I I want to make it a special day for Ruvereshe. So I would like um, if we can go in and take uh, the paper and you can give it to Ruvereshe to say that this is the paper that makes her our, our little girl and that now that Mark will be her papa and I will be her mama. Would that be okay? Can we come in and get it? 
<laughs> but because Rue Varasha is my sort of firstborn, I'd love to get her paper now today. But we're coming in now, if that's okay with you. You sound hesitant. I just want you to hand me over the piece of paper. I haven't got it yet. What way to... Well, I don't know what should be done. I thought... I, I thought that you just had to give me the piece of paper now. Is there anything else I have to do? But... All right, bye. Bye. It's a bit odd. I said that you heard what I said and now he is saying well I don't know I'm not sure I have to talk to my boss about the procedure or he told me that that's all that was necessary so I don't know anyway he said phone him back in 10 minutes I've waited five years I can wait another 10 minutes <laughs> okay hello Jessica hello you my <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just wondering whether to lo load the kids into the car or leave them here at home and just come in myself. <laughs> what should I do? At the very beginning, Rufresh was just a baby and she was... She had been in the hospital, in, the, in this hospital ward and... Um, we got this child welfare organisation to take responsibility for her. We, we really believed, we were given to believe by the officer in charge of the case, that it was just a matter of weeks, not months, uh, you know, days or possibly weeks, at the most a few weeks, that it would take no time at all for us to bring her home and to have her with us. And so we, we, we just, you know, we never believed that it would be going on and on and on and on and, and, and now it's been, it's been five years and so today I I don't know I can't I, can't, uh, I, I don't think I'm allowing myself to believe that it's the final day when I get a piece of paper to say that I can bring her home <laughs> Stay with her mum and dad. Yeah, it's just lovely, hey? Okay, okay. So, there you go. Can you see? The real signature. The real date. <laughs> that, that's us. See, see, see. There you go. You made some. One little girl and one mum are very, very, very happy. Yeah, they're just. In fact, three little girls uh -huh. Ashley and Ruva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. It says it is ordered that the aforesaid order be and is hereby varied in terms of section such and such and such. Ruvar Jaravaza placed in the foster care of Mr. and Mrs. De Bruyker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it would be just perfect if you were here, but yeah. Have I seen it? Hi. Get up on your shoulder. <laughs> 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 I don't know. 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 I don't know.
But obviously we're here because we've got two new uh, new new family members, yeah? New as Yeah. Anything else? Anybody else got happy news to your new haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs>